y'all. So this like had the nerve to wake me up today to something I think is just so profound. Now, the crazy thing is, is we were actually talking about this in the live stream yesterday. And so for this stuff to kind of start appearing, I'm like, they're finally stepping outside of the box, okay? Now, the cool thing is, is that what they have currently in the official Discord is something called Chen's Memo. Now, if you don't know who Chen is, Chen is the producer of Dislike, and this is going to be a step in the direction of a absolutely, what I would consider, a absolutely amazing idea, which is alternate versions of the character. So we're gonna dive into this, and I'm gonna give my take, and definitely let me me know you guys opinions in the comment section down below because i'm actually pretty hype about this right uh so first things first right it says i'm chen the producer of dislike and i'm back to chat with you all again as a producer on the development side i'm also a regular player of dislike during the process of updating and introducing new features we would like to share our views directly with players on specific topics we set up this chin's memo channel to allow us to share topics for a discussion related to the latest version of the game Players are invited to join this special channel and I will just uh, will join in discussions from time to time to let you all know what I've been thinking. I look forward to all of your suggestions and ideas. Now, this is huge because this will be the first time that Chen is going to really be actively in and out having conversations with us. And honestly, this is an opportunity for you guys as community members to directly talk to the producer. Come on, man. So with that. This is where things get a little bit crazy because the very first idea or concept that they are toying with is alternate versions. And the first unit that they have up here is Leon, right? So I probably have her picture sliding up here, but she looks freaking she looks nice. I'm not even going to cap. She looks nice. Now, there's a couple of different things that I would say that I would like to see with them with the alternate versions, but Again, I will say this is a step in the right direction as far as stepping outside of the box. So it says Leon alt version. I was looking at something uh, the art team has been working on and I had an idea. They designed a, a whole new look for Leon and I found myself, myself thinking, what if we make this into a new playable Esper? What skills would this version of Leon have? Once I have that idea, I started to wonder what people would think about us making multiple versions of the same Esper more generally if each version had different abilities what do you folks think tell us what you uh what you think about the new version of leon appearing in the game as a whole new playable esper in the following uh leon alt version thread right now here's the thing okay and this is where i feel like we have to really sit and have this discussion okay now, Darts here had a very, 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 very good point that I was honestly considering when I first seen this. Yes, I think alternate versions of characters is honestly a pretty cool idea, but you have to be able to take that a step further. So Darts goes and says, I think the visual changes on a new unit version of an existing character would have to go beyond just color changes. Uh, would be really cool if a rare character got a legendary version that had a different costume and kit, including an element change. And I will say, this is something that would be extremely viable on a free to play note, just for the simple fact that this is going to allow players that already have those three stars cooking them rare Billabons cooking, they'll be able to take those and do something else with it. So I think that, yes, this idea is, you know, its own idea, but it is open up the door for other ideas to be I would say suggested, right? Uh, and with that, it would say it would give new life to well-liked units that doesn't feel very viable because of rares, lower stats, and less impactful resonances. And that's something that I would absolutely honestly think would make this game huge, even just down into some of the beginner progression things, being able to take a three star that you really like, say, you know, your Drew, your Bryn, your Q, and knowing that later down the line, there's a functionality or something that you'll be able to do to be able to take that character to the next level to make them viable in in-game stuff. 
Now, another comment made by S, shout out to you. This says, yeah, but where are the alternate versions of our espers coming from? A dark timeline, Grandis? Are they getting to our world through a new miracle? Can they coexist with the versions of themselves that we know and mostly love? So this is diving a little bit more into the continuity, right? Uh, and it says it's a little complicated in that regard. I like my stuff to be at least somewhat cohesive. I'm not against it, but it has to be done very, very well. And it would be a lot of work and balancing to do for every single esper i think limiting it to one maybe two or three down the line would be and could be fun as a gimmick now i think that that's also a very important note to make is that with something like this you don't want it to just become this foundationary thing where every character gets a dark version or an alternate version of them like you really do want that to feel special if a unit is getting it but you also want the continuity of it to actually make sense and i think that that kind of is one of the things that I really feel like they're going to have to really sit down and discuss if they are going to try moving forward with something like this, because it is a lot more complex than just, hey, let's just throw alternate units in the game. You got to actually make it something that players are going to want, want and then like and continue to like having based off of how and where it's coming from. This doesn't mean that there aren't rising concerns with this idea. And I got to shout out Seaside for this. So Seaside goes and says, literally, just woke up but i read the thing about leon so here's my opinion honestly the concept is very cool but this is not something i support or something i like to see canon slash in game and here's why usually i find alternate versions of characters and fan-made works such as fan art fan fiction etc i find it a little odd you guys want to implement this into the canon game but i won't judge and i will say this is your honest feeling and opinion and I respect that, right? Because that all is boiling down to preference. And I mean, everybody is going to have a different preference, right? So that's, again, respectable. <laughs> now, going on, Seaside continues to say, only recoloring the character and doing nothing else is just lazy. And players are going to notice. I'm not interested in the Esper if they're exactly like the ones I have already, but with a different color palette and nothing else. And I mean, I honestly agree with that. Nobody really wants that, if we're being honest. I think it's just the idea of this is something new and something that we could be potentially be getting that's a completely new take but again i do agree with that we don't just want something that's going to be a reskin color and now you know your leon is going from the color scheme she has to now just being black you know it is just not going to work for me and i don't think that's really going to work for anyone really right uh now it says uh further on you guys just added new pantheons so why are we even t uh, thinking about alts work on your other pantheons first so that way there's not an imbalance of the original pantheons and the new ones now i think that this goes a little bit even deeper than just adding new characters to the game because yes they did just add new pantheons but again i think that the game's issue that they're having isn't just necessarily continuing to release newer characters i think a lot of this is more so about the content itself and how engaging it is in conjunction to the characters right um and so i think that you know it's not really so much of them releasing characters that's engaging uh, engaging players but I really think it's a matter of the content that they've been releasing and how that's generally overall engaging the entire community. And so I feel like in conjunction to a lot of these different ideas, hopefully it allows them to be able to cook up some, with our help hopefully, some better ideas as far as the kinds of content that can come out of these kinds of things in relation to these characters, right? So in all honesty, ultimates can be, you know, something that could help with that, right? It's a possibility. Now, with that, you go on to further say, free-to-play players are really struggling in this game so adding old versions of characters would make the free-to-play situation worse if characters cost wish stones or records to obtain which i 100 percent agree with uh, and this won't encourage people to spend money either all it will do is cause frustration and cause players to drop the game not everyone can afford to spend 50 dollars on a mobile game now the other thing to this too is that if they do decide to utilize things such as wish stones or records to be able to be able to obtain these espers there's going to be a lot of adjustments 
adjustments that are going to need to happen to things as wish stones. Cost of wish stoning a unit is going to need to significantly decrease. Uh, you know, I would say accumulation of certain record types are going to have to increase as well. There's a lot of different things that they are going to need to do. And the only other route they are potentially going to be looking at when you're talking about adding a new type of unit is another record or another type of currency to be able to obtain these units. And let's be honest, not everyone and really not too many people are going to be looking forward to a new currency type in the game. Um, so again, really trying to hone in and keeping yourself on a straight and narrow path as you're adding these new ideas is going to be so important, Lilith, because you don't want to throw any monkey wrenches into something that I already feel like you're finally starting to stabilize and, you know, you're going to throw a monkey wrench into it and it's just going to completely derail everything. So just kind of keeping these things in mind, even the spending point i mean let's be honest here spending points are kind of like one of those debatable things if you weren't going to spend 50 dollars in the first place you might not spend it no matter what's going on but i definitely get the point of how it's not going to necessarily encourage you to want to maybe potentially even spend that 50 but again that also is on your spending preferences and really your point of sell of what you find valuable to not valuable so that's something i feel like that could be debated all day but again that's just kind of that. <laughs> now, uh, Seaside further goes to say this game already has so much you need to improve and or slash introduce. We haven't even gotten Shade Mother yet. So the fact that you guys are prioritizing this over that is not good at all. And I think that to kind of clean this up a little bit, really what Seaside is saying, where's the damn content? Okay, where's the damn content? That's pretty much what what, what Seaside. <laughs> That's pretty much what Seaside is saying. Now, with that, uh, the last comment, and uh, this is the last thing that Seaside goes to say, and uh, here's something you should think about. If you make an alt version of Leon, that means you need to go back through Dislike's entire roster and make alt versions of uh, for every Esper. Uh, do, do you guys actually have the time and resources to do that? I'd love to see a alt of Yun Chuan, uh, alt Yamato, and uh, Yuhime, but this isn't something I would actually pay money for nor support. Now, I think to go further along, Along with this as well is considering that the alt versions is going to have to a lot of it really is going to need to be some sort of continuity to the storyline currently with them offering Leon it actually does make sense at least with her so I don't necessarily agree with the fact that they're gonna have to go back and you know necessarily do it for other older espers but on a spending point when we're talking about point of sale it is going to be something lucrative money wise if they were to start bringing certain characters back that way. Now, it all depends on what happens in the storyline for that to make sense. Is there some sort of thing that the Ritual Miracle does where they're able to spew out versions of the characters in these ultimate forms or whatever like who really freaking knows so there's a lot of like unanswered questions and a lot of questions that lead into another question because this is really honestly just a presented idea but again i absolutely do appreciate this because this is definitely you know not making it all look like it's just sunshine and rainbows because there are a lot of different factors to consider when we're talking about the free-to-play experience and really the state of the game now Zox, what exactly is your take now my take with this is that this honestly could be a really good idea but i think it goes a little bit deeper than just bringing an alternate character into the game we really have to consider what kinds of content is going to come with that how is that going to affect the gotcha and really what ultimately is going to be the norm as far as those kinds of units i think that those should be units that come into the game on a specialty note but i also think that that does kind of open up the door for us to talk about other things like for example like was mentioned was three stars being able to get legendary forms or even taking them to allowing them to have epic forms. I mean, shit, give them something else. So I really do feel like, and I can agree with even the concept of there are a lot of things that we still need to have worked on within the game before we really even start touching on other ideas. And I feel like a lot of it is more foundationary. So it's making a lot of the, what I would consider a little bit more of the throwaway units more viable and then adding more content for us to do. I don't think that we're really in a place where we have enough to do. And that's really just something that I would 
say, especially as you get closer to end game or once you are in end game, you're going to truly 100% see that. The grind is literally a loop of doing the exact same thing every day. And there's really nothing that's going to really be that intriguing to that degree that you already haven't done. So I will say there is going to need to be a balance for early game, mid game and in game. I would say when you were talking about that level of engagement for these things to be accessible. And like I mentioned before, I really do think it's going to be important for them to consider that if they are going to be utilizing resources we already have gotcha wise, they're going to really need to think about rate ups and really cutting down on the cost of what is going to be required to be able to obtain these quote unquote alternate espers. But again, I think that these are things that could be implemented potentially at the same time. If they decide to do alternate espers, then they might want to also consider giving us those characters, like I said, taking those three stars to five stars, for example. But again, how long is that really going to take? And really, do they have the manpower or the resources to make that all happen? Now, maybe within the next like six months to a year, this is something that I think that can realistically happen. But as far as saying that that's something that can happen in like the next couple of patches, unless they've already had things planned and they're just now just telling us just because, I mean, who really freaking knows? I'm just going to say this. I'm actually excited for the fact that they are opening up the idea and the conversation for us to have these dialogues so that it's not just one of those things where we're just kind of sitting back and we're just waiting for things and kind of crossing our fingers and hoping that things are just going to change or get better. I think that this is, again, a great opportunity when we're talking about a direct line of communication for us as a community as a whole and not just CC, you know, content creators to development teams. This is actually giving you as a normal consumer of this game that you might have grown to love an opportunity to be able to voice your opinion. So as always, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i know that this video was kind of loaded but hey it is what it is like i said i was very surprised to even see this after we already had this discussion on the live stream so again guys let me know what you guys think stay blessed and uh yeah stay charged up